Hollywood. It's Mike Douglas, People Now. Sitting in for the vacationing Mike Douglas, Bill Tosh. Now, here's Bill. Thank you, Dennis, and welcome once again to People Now. And we're in for Mike for another day. And by the way, I'd like to thank everybody for all the card we received after yesterday's show. Tonight, we have a great show coming up. Oscar-winning performer George Kennedy is going to talk to us not only about his own career, but about one of his colleagues, Paul Newman, who's going to be spotlighted in an upcoming documentary. Kathy Silvers is here from Happy Days. Wayne Northrup, who portrays Roman Brady on the popular soap opera Days of Our Lives. And of course, our resident astrologist, Joyce Gilson. But before we get to all that, we have a real treat. The Hollywood Women's Press Club held their annual Golden Apple Awards over the weekend, and we had a chance to take our cameras to talk with some of the celebrity nominees as well as presenters. Well, the legendary Betty Davis was there to present a special award to Henry Winkler, and we were lucky enough, enough to catch up to Betty just before the ceremony. Watching you just a couple minutes ago, you've been such a major superstar for so many years, and all the photographers just gather around you. And, uh, do you ever get tired of it? Oh, it's part of the job. <laughs> I mean, you just it's just part of the job. Oh, no. No. Do. I don't want to have to do it every day in the week. But no, I don't think about it. It's part, it's part of what it's all about. You keep so doggone busy. You just completed another movie for uh, Home Box Office. Right. The film you star in with Jimmy Stewart. Yes. Have you worked with him before? No, never. Never. We've never even known each other. It was... Um, just a very happy experience. We worked very well together. Has there been anybody that you haven't worked with that you still want to have a chance to work with? Oh, there are many, many, many people. But you see, I never worked with, uh, I worked with many, many fine, fine actors. But I never worked with the sort of the Stewarts and the Gables and the Coopers and all those high-powered box office men. Jimmy was really the first one because each were he was Metro Golden Mayor, and I was Warner Brothers. So you never, you never meet professionally, you know. Are you glad those big studio days are gone? Where they oh, had you on their Oh no! Contract? I hope they come back. Do please they? God, they come back. Please yeah. God, we go back on sound stages, and please God, young actors will have a chance to be contract players again, because that's, that's what made our careers. That's interesting, because going back, back to the uh, late 1930s, you yourself kind of. Uh, tried to oh no no blast no the i never system. never did ever blast the contract system within the system naturally i had my own opinions and discussed many things mr warner never against the contract system it's a tragedy today because a, a a very good young actress has no continuity to her career anymore we made one after the other i was there for 18 years and they guided your career. They took care well. Of you. We guided uh, you. It was a 50-50 deal. You guided a lot of it yourself. But uh, no, please God comes back. Who do you see as the major young stars today? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. In the first place, I am very ignorant about all the very young people, unless I I, I just don't go to films very much, so I don't know. But there are always very talented people. There's a very talented girl, for instance, named Carol Kane, who is on taxi. If there were a contract system today, she would be under contract, no question about it, definitely. The song we had out last year about mm -hmm. Betty Davis' fun, eyes, fun. when you first heard it, when, when, when did you first hear it? Uh, in my home. Somebody brought me the record. You knew nothing about it? Uh, I had heard vaguely about it, but didn't understand about it till I heard it. It was very good. And I thought it was marvelous to get into rock and roll, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Betty Davis in rock and roll. It's a real treat talking to her. We'll be back with Academy Award winning actor George Kennedy.